Hello, it's Ruby, and today I'm going to be telling you how I take notes from a novel when I am comparing it to another text. So when I need my notes to be in relation to another piece of literature. So for this particular example, I am taking notes from Frankenstein. So I start off by actually writing the title of the book and also the pages that I am taking the notes from. I will start by writing the page that I am starting with, but I will leave the page that I finish on until the end because sometimes I end up writing more than I thought I would and sometimes I am too ambitious. I will also always write the date because I just find it's a lot easier to organise my notes if I do this. And then I will write my first heading, which is key imagery and structure. And I will actually colour code imagery and structure using different highlighters, but only after I have actually taken my notes. So another thing I like to do is make a key in the top corner. And this is for when I highlight things in the text itself. So I am using green for just general things that are quite interesting and then a peachy colour for links to Paradise Lost. So then my second heading is possible links. So any point that I make about imagery or structure in my left hand column, I will comment on in my second column relating it back to Paradise Lost. And this means that I can easily see links when I'm writing my coursework. I can just look over my notes and quickly see where the links lie between the two texts. I will also use a post-it note and just write interesting on it. So it's anything that I find interesting when I am reading the text. And this doesn't actually have to be relevant to my coursework, to the essay, to anything. It's just things that I find to be academically interesting and things I might want to comment on or think about further. So that is pretty much everything that I will do for this kind of note taking method. And here is a video of me actually writing notes using this method. It really is very useful for me. If you decide to use it yourself, I really hope that you find it equally useful and helpful. And if you do, do let me know in the comments. So thank you for watching and have a productive week.